How's it going everybody? My name is Nuri Plays and welcome back to the 100 Day Drone series. It has now been successfully a week after we're done with whatever do we're doing today. And the thing we're doing today is more gesture drawing, but this time each photograph try break down where the perspective is, where the contours are, and things like that to really help understand what's happening in each photograph. So I'm going to start by dragging in a single reference that we're gonna do together for now and then later i will do some speed runnage so i'm gonna start by the head first again we build our heads using a circle you can also use a cube if you wish so in this case the cube uh would look something like this so there's the front plane of the face again perspective keep in mind that perspective pretty sure from what I can tell already this is pretty much a one point but it might also be a two point perspective because you can see the buildings be really narrow in the background and the lines are like fairly straight and this tells me that this is a really narrow perspective, which indicates that the points are really far away from each other. Which means that, as you can see on here, the proportions do not get very distorted. They're very flat. Even the, as this leg is in front, it's still roughly the same size as this other foot and leg. What tells me is there isn't a lot of distortion going on, so the points are really far away from each other. Which is going to make breaking this down kind of easier, actually. It will make it easier. So there's the eye line. I shouldn't be doing straight lines for this. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start laying down more like the contours of the face and really get down and dirty with all the little details kind of like this and then it goes out oh voice crack <laughs> so from there we have the chin the chin goes towards where the good old friend cranium is which also gets split like that just keep bearing in mind the perspective things are in. Now, usually I'm not going to spend too long on these kind of things. But now I really want to get into the details and figure out what goes on behind the scenes. Okay, so with, from here we can see that she has a collar on. But first of all, what you need to notice is the shoulders. Shoulder here, shoulder there. Which indicates the chest facing this way, which means the contour is going to be somewhere even further, potentially somewhere there. So this is what is actually happening behind the scenes. So let's try to replicate that shape again. The shoulders there and the other one is like a, the behind i believe bear in mind the perspective so again they get smaller okay the chest sticks out like this curves in her back arches she's like leaning back and then her ribcage is somewhere there. Does that even look similar? I mean, we can compare, right? We can actually compare. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to move it. Okay, so I see that we didn't make her lean far back enough. I'm actually just going to erase the whole thing and redo it again. Okay. It's really good practice to do this to really not skimp 
the details. This feels a lot more closer to the real thing. But then what I realize is the back is doing something more like this. And then the contour is right there. And it's also curving. And now let's compare again and then we try again. This time it's almost like perfect. It, it pretty much is. Bang on. Okay, so now let's keep going. I'm gonna erase what's going on here. Actually, no, I'm not. Because we need to figure out what else is happening. Goes down. Here. So contour is doing something a little bit like this. And then her pelvis, I believe her pelvis is doing something like this. So again, the contour is there, which links to her leg. Again, make sure you're x-raying. Treat your eye like an x-ray. Okay, so we're realizing that this underneath isn't what's actually happening. The way you can tell what the pelvis is doing in this case, I mean her crotch and stuff, is if you follow this leg. If you follow this leg, it'll kind of lead you back to what is happening. Same with this. You follow this after I kind of tell you it's okay so from this we've learned that the pelvis is here it's going outwards with the joint of the leg being behind there and then the primary joint being here here. And it's pretty big. So we do something like like that, I think. Because then the other one's behind there doing the same thing. Okay, so let's replicate that at fast again. Follow the contour line. character goes in then back out where the belly button stuff is and then you have the pelvis now the pelvis is doing something I, f I don't know if it's doing that it actually might be it actually might be but I'll, r I'll square it off here and then on the other side I'll square it off as well I feel like I draw my pelvis is too small as well. Okay, so let's imitate that shape. Almost like you're drawing a nappy on a person. I can already tell that our back isn't arching enough. But the pelvis shape is more or less there. Like this. Let's compare by moving the sketch over the entire thing. As you can see, it's again more or less accurate. I got the lean on the chest almost spot on, but then the proportions are actually wrong on here. The main idea though is to just get the idea of how the shapes are working anyway, so we're gonna leave that be. Okay, so we know that behind that there's another circle. And then if I join this up, and then we draw the flow of the legs down to the very foot. Because what this tells me is that we got our proportions right. I think. And the back leg 
is standing on this plane, like that, and uh, that foot's also kinda standing on a similar plane, because it's facing the same direction, kind of like this. In fact, this line's even more straight, kind of like that. Okay, so from here we can actually draw the joints of the legs. We know that the joint is right around there. Okay, I'm getting these completely wrong. Let's calm down a little bit, let's slow down. And then at the pelvis it goes around. Yeah, I got the I even got the foot wrong here. The knee's facing okay, if we get rid of this. The knee is facing that way. And you can barely see it. You can actually see the back of her leg there. So this tells me that. So this foot I got right, this foot I got wrong. Because if you look at the toes, they all kind of reach the same plane. So I'm going to actually redo that entire leg. Uh, how would you draw a foot from here? Because we could always start with the foot going this side, sideways. Yeah, that's something like that. Shebang and shebang. The arm then goes down here. Elbow. That means in perspective the other elbow would be up here. If you look at the perspective it's going like this. It would be there. Arm comes out here. And then you have the hand kind of holding the baseball bat here. across the body it's kind of going behind the neck yeah but you have to be careful because the fingers are holding it like this there you go a very quick breakdown of this specific pose. What I'm noticing is that, again, I'm having issues with that back leg actually making any sort of movement. So I'm going to delete that whole back leg. There's my breakdown of this pose specifically. So if we got rid of all of these, we now see that we pretty much have that pose all nailed and crap. With all the clothes and stuff later, you could probably add if you wanted. Uh, okay, let's break down another one before I speed run through them again like I did in the... Uh, did we do it day one? I think we did gesture drawing day one, but this took us, what? Like 20 minutes to fully break this down while me explaining, of course. Um, okay, let's do another one. I chose some pretty difficult ones today, because I really want to challenge myself. So, I like this one, it's a very uh, emotional photo. 
And the camera angle is really cool because, again, it's from below. You know how much I love my camera angles from below. Yeah, so we'll do this one as well. Now, this one should be a, a bit easier because, obviously, there's no other body parts involved. But the same concept is there. The shoulders, look for the lines on the shoulder. The head, uh, kind of see where the head matches up. And really fact check all of this. Okay, so let's try draw this as well. You people at home can also join us if you so wish. Okay. So the size of the circle, you can already see where the cranium is and where the jaw is. It's going to be something like this, I believe. We need to draw the circle in such a way where it's more of an oval because it's getting twisted in perspective. If you look, if you look at the eye line, shoulder line, it's all kind of going down towards that area. Down towards like that area. And it's really putting focus on going across. If you draw just basic lines, that kind of match across, you can see the perspective warping was kind of like that point. Okay, so let's draw the circle. Enough yappering. Now we draw the cranium, which is at a crazy, crazy, crazy angle. Perspectives kind of go like this. Eye line is going crazy. It's going like this. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, let's hold your horses now. Yep, it's going like that. I don't know how big to make the craniums. That is also my issue. I'm gonna think. I'm not gonna think about it too hardly now. Then the neck, the jaw. Okay, so the line for the ear is already wrong. That center line's wrong. It's more backwards, and it because I placed it there, and it's not there. It, it can't be there. So the jaw line kind of goes like that. Neck goes down. And then a jawline kind of follows the face curve there. And we can do something like this into the neck area. You see, that's kind of what happens with the chin. You break that down. I drew it better on here than I did on here though. So I'm gonna redo that completely. I like this. See, and this is how you learn how you can like break down um, and get an idea for how to draw different angles of the head more specifically. So her head is really, 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 really just looking upwards as hard as it can. The eye line going crazy like this. And then the contour, the nose. The nose is literally like right there. The mouth is again following that. Following that contour as well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw the face on, but I'll draw the hairline. So her hairline's kinda like that. It's kind of stretching upwards as it goes up like that. Yep. I also draw the ear in. Again, I just don't want to go into too much detail. Yep, because we need we just need to break it down into basic form and shapes. Okay. There's a line going across the neck. Use that as kind of a measuring point. The shoulder big because it's in the foreground and then the other shoulder first there's a chest that needs a dressing kind of like this um and then the contour line is really close in fact 
contour line might even be like just right on the edge there of that. And then the back is going like this. It's really like hunched over almost, I want to say, but notice the neck and the back having that kind of flow. Which means the ribcage is literally going like this. And then the other shoulder is like right there. But it's covered by the shirt. And I go like this. And then going over a neck. And then over the shoulder. And then there's all sorts of things going on like... Yeah, well the contour line, you can even see it. Where this blue bit is cut off over here. The contour line in the middle is going like there. So this is kind of like the silhouette that's happening there. To kind of end up with this. As our as our guide here. So what I'm learning already from this is that the shoulder and the arm doesn't mean the arm starts here. It can also start like halfway through. Like that. There's a lot of sketchy lines, so I'm gonna get rid of some of them. To make it a bit more clearer what I'm trying to get across. But yeah, this is where the chest would be. Where the boobies are and stuff. Okay. So I've broken this one down as well, more or less. Because, yeah, it's, it's a pretty, again, it's a portrait. So you're not going to see the entire body. It's a lot easier to just break down into these shapes using observation. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to try to draw the nose as well for right now. Try see how the nose looks in this. Is the nose looks pretty crazy in this perspective, and I've never really understood how it looks. So I get it now. It kind of looks like that. Again, I can't draw this well enough because of how thick my pen is and how the how the lines just are. But just trying to get the main message across like this and then the nose converges into the lips which also goes down interesting like there's a clear line there if you look at it and I don't know why that is why is that happening because this part of the face is curving away I get it there's so much happening in a sketch it's hard to tell what's happening Like that. Mouth. <laughs> this is so difficult to draw. I probably shouldn't be picking drawings as hard as this, but... This is kind of what I need to learn. This is the next step after the gesture drawing. 
But again, I just really want to nail down each and every single skeleton while I can. And so far, we've done a crazy good job. Like, I just took my time with this. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go off on my own and do some more of these. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And hopefully you guys can understand uh, my process as I'm kind of doing it. it. It's literally the same as what we've done in both of these, but just with more drawings. Okay, let's give this a shot.
I think I'm done for now. So this is what we ended up with. So we got the samurai girl, kind of really get into the knitting and gritty a little. So what I've been doing is just focusing my eyes a bit more on perspective. Because for example, you can easily tell how the perspective is doing by looking at the elbows. By looking at the shoulder line. Sometimes by looking at the way the head is tilted, but I haven't really gotten there yet. So again, another example here would be looking at the shoulders compared to the boob line, for example. Where her thingies, calcium cannons are sagging. And then if you draw a line, shabam. Uh, I think that's a vanishing point. Because then if you look at here, and you look at her hip line as well, it also does the same thing where it goes towards like that vanishing point there. It, at least when it came to that one. In this one, you had one vanishing point down at the bottom, somewhere there. It's all kind of going like this. So the vanishing point is like way off somewhere there. For example, this one was pretty challenging to break down the chest, especially. Trying to figure out like how the contour line is warping around the neck and everything like that. Um, yeah, it's very tough, very tough to break down accurately. Okay, so this is one group. And then the other group is this. So this is the first one we did. And then this is the second one we did. Uh, I believe we did that one, yeah. And then this one was actually the hardest one. Like, hands down, I don't even think this looks right. I think that this leg is too bulky here in this area compared to this area. I don't know how the pelvis is broken down in this kind of position. The rib cage, uh, the upper torso feels hella high, which I feel like. It would be a lot lower in this position uh, and there'd be less stomach because you're like not only are you leaning over and the arm and the arm as well arm feels hella long i don't know if that's proportionately accurate i don't know if that's accurate but this entire gesture drawing looks terrible uh at least in my eyes i can spot a lot of mistakes so again i i always try look at the angle the whole body's tilted at in this case the hoodie gave away kind of that it's slanted and you're looking away so this bit is further back and this was more in the front uh, but it was such a difficult drawing because i couldn't even figure out the feet as well because i s usually see like um i used to study a lot of like comic book artists and stuff like that and uh, how they would draw feet is actually like diamonds and squares and all the stuff like this but i just i again i haven't found that working for me this time around uh definitely gonna do more gesture drawings now in a row and just keep working at it i really like how we did the nose here i actually really like that unless it's the sketch helping it out which it probably is to be honest because the moment i get rid of my lines uh, I become very unsure with everything, so that could definitely be the case as well, but 
Yeah, I'm very glad I did this. I'm very glad I did this after learning perspective, because now my head, I can feel my head just going and really picking up uh, all these different shapes and and perspectives and really trying to figure things out this time instead of compared to day one when I was just blindly drawing shapes without any perspective knowledge or anything. I was just drawing for the sake of drawing. Uh, which can work, but only if you're kind of subconsciously learning. So yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below with your thoughts, and subscribe if you are new. But apart from that, I'll see you in tomorrow's gesture session as well. So I'll see you guys later.